So in this question, we have um, an actual pressure, and then we've got a reading that's 12% more, and that one is 38.64. The first thing to remember is that you can't just decrease that by 12%, because if you increase by, say, 10% and decrease by 10%, you don't get back to the start. The same happens for 12% as well, any percentage, in fact. So, how are we going to deal with this? Well, I'm going to talk about two methods. First method, um, okay, so our actual one is 100%. It's gone up by 12%, and that means that 38.64 is actually 112%, because, because I've just added these two percentages together. So if I've got that, I can write down that 38.64 is, I don't want to say equals 112%, but like it's, a, it's equivalent to essentially. Um, and then a good strategy is to use, we call it the unitary method. So basically find out what 1% is, and you can do that by dividing through by 112. If you do that, then you get 0 0.345. And then we can times through by 100, give us 100%, and that's going to be 34.5, and that is the answer. Method two is to basically use uh, multipliers. So actual times the multiplier will equal the new value, or in this case, 38.64 value. For us, we've got the actual times our multiplier if we've got a hundred percent and we're going up by 12 percent again that's 112 percent and so our multiplier is 1.12 and that equals our 38.64 so to work out the actual we can divide we can do 38.64 divided by 1.12 which is again this answer Essentially, these are the equivalent methods. We're doing that when we when we divide by one hundred and twelve, and we times by hundred. It's the same as if we just divided by one point one two to start with, but it's a slightly different way of thinking. But yeah, whichever method you're happy with, go with it. Um, I would say you really want to get your head around multipliers though, because they'll be useful for more complicated questions.